It's like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, days are numbered for some four-legged weed eaters in Detroit. The goats were shipped in to help clean up a vacant, overgrown lot. But tonight, the city is sending them packing. Seven Action News reporter Tara Edwards is live on Detroit's West Side to tell us why this happened. Tara, they don't want the goats, huh? I guess not, Carolyn. And some people say that the grass is always greener on the other side, but in this case, some people won't find out. Lisa Rivera and other moms in the Brightmoor community were excited to see their new neighbors move in. More than a dozen goats. I mostly just came here to see it and to show my daughter because she loves baby goats. So. The goats had moved into about four acres of land on Detroit's west side near Kendall and Westbrook. They came from Idle Farms to help clean out all the weeds and other vegetation. Once the vegetation was cleaned up, then we would have the volunteers come in and take the trash out of the area. And, and using the goats and the volunteers, we would be clearing this ground for future agricultural use. But this afternoon, Detroit city officials shut the project down. A city ordinance bans farm and wild animals. So all 18 of these goats have to go. We will be uh, in full compliance. We will be removing the animals uh, um, because we're interested in compliant. We're not looking to fight with the city. We want to collaborate with the city. The city's changing rapidly right now. There's a lot of vacant space that's just getting higher and higher and it's just going to be filled with more crime. And I think that there's nothing but good that can come from having these goats here, really. Those behind the ventures say they had a lot of community support. Residents like Rivera say they're disappointed the animals are being forced out because they think it could add to a renaissance in Detroit. We can maybe set the new standard for like what it's like to urban farming like in, in cities. Like Detroit can set the standard for that, and that's pretty exciting. And city, city Councilman James Tate pushed for a similar project about a year ago. We tried to reach out to him tonight, but he had no comment. Live in Detroit's West Side, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.